Hey girl, hey. So we're gonna start off this just this is just a sort of can I talk we're gonna start this tutorial off with concealing the under eye normally I color correct first with my LA girl pro concealer um, in the shade orange but I actually didn't know where it was so I skipped that step I concealed under my eyes with the tarp shape tape concealer uh, I really have found that this has basically kept my dark circles from peeking through so I do this step before I put on my foundation I'm just gonna blend it out with a beauty blender and you do see me talking in the beginning of this video because I thought I was gonna do a talk through tutorial and then it just kind of went bad all right so now I'm going in with my foundation I'm using the Estee Lauder double wear foundation in the shade what is it called amber honey in the shade amber honey yes yes so yes, I went in with about two layers of the foundation. So now I'm going back in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm really using this for highlighting purposes rather than concealing purposes. So you see me do a big old triangle. I drag it on my nose a little bit to do a natural contour because I don't do anything else to my nose. I, I refuse. I've tried it and it just looked terrible. Actually, I like my nose so I, I don't really feel like I need to manipulate it. Now I'm just dragging the concealer down my nose for a highlight. Also on my Cupid's bow to highlight and under my bottom lip to make it a little pouty, make it stick out a little bit. Mm-hmm, yeah girl. Now I'm just taking my beauty blender and blending everything out. So I'm using my fingers to blend out my concealer because it just helps warm up the product and it blends into your skin a lot easier and just better. It's just seamless. I love this. And then you'll see me go in with the Beauty Blender to blend the rest out. And I really take my time when I blend out my under eye concealer because you know you just did that sharp line, you know, to, to give that illusion of your face being lifted. Um, but... But it's important to get all the harsh lines because you don't want that line of like demarcation not cute so make sure you blend it Okay, now I'm going in with my airspun powder in the shade tan with a Real Techniques brush. Oh my gosh, I got it in my eye. <laughs> and I'm just dotting that everywhere, really focusing on the areas where I know I get super oily. And guys, I do not bake, at least with this powder. I've tried it with this powder and it made me look like a ghost. I looked casket ready and that's not what I'm trying to go for. So. So now moving on to brows, um, I actually lost the clip of me starting off on my brows. I'm using the My Precise Brow from Benefit in number four. Brows take forever and I feel like it's not that interesting. in with the black radiance uh, contour palette cream contour palette and I'm just using the middle shade um, to carve out my brows it's pretty similar to my skin tone and I just found using something similar to your the color of your skin looks a lot better I just don't like that highlighted around the brows look unless you blend it out well it's kind of hard to sometimes so I just wanted to try it this way And I think the Black Radiance kit, I think it's in, I got the shade medium to dark. 
And then the little a brush I'm using is just a real, not a real Techniques, what is it? It is a e.l.f. brush. And then I just, you know, use my finger to kind of blend everything out. Again, when you warm products up with your uh, fingers, it just makes it a lot easier to blend. And then I'm doing the rest with my beauty blender. I like to use the spoolie to brush out my brows just to make them look more hair-like. I brush them up just so they look a little bit more natural. Now I'm taking my uh, concealer, the Tarte concealer, and just putting it on my eyelids. You see that ash? I see that ash in between them fingers. Ooh, girl. But yeah, I'm just doing that. And then I think I'm going to go in with my powder after this. I'm just blending it out with my finger. Now I'm using another Real Techniques brush, and I just blended out the, um, I just went in with some powder. Now I lost another clip. I lost the clip of me starting off on my eyes. I'm using the Morphe palette, the 350 palette, and that is a Sigma brush. I don't really know the name of it. It's beat up. I've had it for years, but it works. So <laughs> as you can see, it looks a little, it looks like it's been through some things. And then I just blend, blend, blend. I mean, this really that's the key to eyeshadow is just taking your time building up the colors and blending them out now the morphe palette doesn't have names <laughs> of the shades so i can't even tell you you know what shades these are and then i'm using um i think this is like an urban decay brush that comes in some of those naked palettes and i'm just going in with the shimmery color on my eyelid Then I also go in with my finger because I feel like I get more color payoff with my finger sometimes. And then of course going back in and just blending out any harsh lines. My brows look kind of weird here. One looks like kind of just straight across. The other one looks a little arched. I think one is more arched than the other so it's kind of hard but I ain't tripping. And then I'm actually going in with a shade from one of, it's an Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I don't know which one it is. I forgot. I know she has several, but I actually didn't like it on my face, guys. I really didn't. So I just decided to use them as eyeshadows and I'm just putting it in the middle of the eyelid just to add a little pop of color. inner corner I'm using Becca a Becca highlighter um, it is in the shade completely forgot I don't know I'll link it down below and then I am using a real techniques brush and going in with actually one of the shades from the morphe 350 palette I really like it as a contour shade and I've kind of just been using it as that my eyeshadow I just feel like I could have blended it a little bit better but whatevs we're gonna go with the flow. It was actually, that was the first time I was using my ring light and it's so bright that I, I don't think I saw, like I don't think I could see that well. Like it was kind of blinding me. So like I couldn't really, I was trying to look in the mirror but then trying to get, you know, close enough to the camera. So it was kind of hard. Um, so I really didn't even notice that I didn't blend out my eyeshadow that well. Um, normally I'm like a stickler on that. 
and then you know I'm contouring my face and then you see me going in back in with my beauty blender I just like to go over my contour with the beauty blender so that way it doesn't look like just a straight up line on my face and look harsh then I'm going in with a blush from black radiance I'll link the color down below I don't know if I really like it because it doesn't have much of a color payoff to me but I got to try it out some more we'll see okay and then I'm going back in with um, a Milani blush I'll link the name down below but my friend had this on the other day Miranda and it looked so gorgeous on her like she was just glowing it was like a glow from within type of glow I was like girl what are you using and she told me I was like oh my gosh I need to go buy it and then guys like I was cleaning out my makeup uh, drawers and then realized that I had the blush the whole time that's sad that's saying something I don't I even remember that I had that wiping off the chapstick I had put on earlier I'm going in with a lip liner it's a Rimmel 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 <laughs> Rimmel it's a Rimmel lip liner I think it's in the shade coffee bean um, but I will have to take a look and I'll link it down below And then I go back in with the liner because I just felt like it needed a little bit more definition. Um, I like it a little bit darker, not so, so bright. Guys, I completely forgot to, um, I think my camera actually died when I was putting on my mascara. I used Benefits Their Real Mascara. I actually don't wear lashes, so that's all I did to my eyelashes. And then at the very last minute, I decided to go on with some blue eyeliner. Um, that's the only two things that I didn't really get to show, so I, I apologize for that. And this is the final look. So if you enjoyed watching this video, like it, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys.